In what seems like an end is yet to come to the leadership crisis in the University of Lagos regarding the removal of the institution's vice chancellor and appointment of a new acting vice chancellor. Plus TV Africa correspondent Jacinta Obioku brings us an update. Arriving at the Senate building of the institution, some members of non-academic staff union NASU were seen waiting to welcome the new acting vice chancellor. Amid the leadership tussle between the governing council and some members of Congress Union of the University regarding the removal of Professor Oluwatoyo Gundipe, the atmosphere is filled with suspense. After some hours wait, the new appointed Vice Chancellor, Professor Theophilus Shoyombo, arrived at the Senate building and for the first time addressed the public. We are all familiar with the current situation. On the 12th of August 2020, the Governing Council of the University of Lagos removed the uh, former Vice Chancellor and announced my appointment as the acting vice chancellor of the University of Lagos. The appointment was with immediate effect and I saw it as a call to service to the University of Lagos. My major focus will be on staff welfare. While addressing the public, he stressed on the preparation of students returning back to the campus, as well as the good welfare of the staff, especially the non-academic staff. We are missing our students. But in bringing them back, we'll ensure that we comply with all the NCDC and hygiene and health practices. During the press briefing, he also addressed the seeming disunity between some members of the Congress Union and the Governing Council of the University as regards to the needed support to run his new office. I can assure you that we've received messages of support and goodwill from the majority, from a large cross-section of members of the university community. Professor Shoyombo further stated that there are no deputy vice chancellors approved by the governing council. Jacinta Obiuku, Plus TV Africa.